With inflation on the rise and central banks poised to increase rates, there is one major question Canadians are asking about our economy. Will there be a recession and what will it look like? Joining us this morning with more is Peter Sashaki from Everything Financial. Good morning, Peter. Good to see you. Good morning. The R word. Yeah, R we've word. heard people talking about this. First of all, for people who don't know, what uh, what are the, the parameters for a recession? A decline in gross domestic product over two quarters. It, but the R word's taken on all these other meanings and it's used for a lot of things that don't even apply. Mm -hmm. I mean, they see a downturn in the economy, we're having a recession. They see the markets go into a funk, we're having a recession. It's none of those things, it's been overused and the R word isn't anything to be scared of because they average about every four years. Yeah, so I mean, throughout this pandemic, have we dipped into a recession at all during that time? Not yet, Okay. no, and, and I mean, again, a decline in gross domestic product, I mean, for two quarters, it can be such a minor amount too, but that's technically how you measure it and people get scared of it and they don't need to be. Okay, so are we heading towards a recession? Quite possibly if, if there's another um, large jump in interest rates, that could be the tipping point because it, it really slows down the economy and then you have it, you get the recession. So as I say, tear the band-aid off, use the word, get it over with and let's move on. Let's just call it a recession. Yeah. Uh, you said that this happens every four years on average. on average. So it seems quite common then. It is quite common, but you tend to hear about it more when it's like a, a big ticket item, when it's really come in with a bang and it, and, and associated with other things. Uh, economy, stock market, it seems, everything that today seems to people, they, they look at it and they relate it to what's going on in the stock market. Where the stock market right now is behaving very normal. There's some volatility. It's It went down for about nine months, which is about average. But even when it goes down for nine months, it doesn't go straight down. Oh, we're at bottom. Okay, we're going up again. It's It goes down and it goes gradual and like a recession. The, the gross domestic product goes down and then kind of levels out and then it starts to go up and it may be very slow. When people hear the word and when it's talked about, there is a sense of fear attached to it. And I think because of all that we've been through and the state that we're in right now with the inflation, cost of living, people are feeling the squeeze. So with a recession, uh, how concerned should they be? Not really concerned, especially with the retirement accounts and things, because when you hear the word recession, the markets are generally already on the way up and the the traders and the portfolio managers account for those things way in advance and the interesting thing is inflation right now like if you take we're in august already oh my gosh almost over it, that's almost, <laughs> over. It's almost over in july uh inflation dropped a half a point mm -hmm. so in june in may but we announced in june it was 7.7 .7, then it went to 8.1 and now it's at 7.6 and it looks like it'll probably be at least another half a point possibly a little more lower we won't know for about another eight, nine days or so. But if inflation is going down, then the hike in interest rates kind of help do that. Even though you hear recession, it's already happened. Just like when you raise interest rates, it might take 15 months for that full effect to carry out. So when you say recession, it's actually what's happened in the past two quarters, not really an indication of what's happening in the next quarter is that rearview mirror thing yeah okay let's we have to squeeze this in we only have about 30 yeah. seconds but people's retirement they want to know how would a recession affect those plans wouldn't affect those plans i mean if you've planned properly you visit your registered financial planner regular you keep on top of things it's a blip and as i said it the your retirement accounts may not be affected at all like not even a little bit even for those people who are ho we're hoping to retire imminently yeah. and a lot of people who are looking at retiring right now even with the markets down right now, if you've planned properly, it shouldn't have changed your plans. I mean, I'm talking $10 a month maybe to your long-term income, and we're slowly gonna come out of this as we have every time before, and the markets will exceed where they were before again, and you'll be good to go on that cruise and play more golf. Okay, I like the sounds of that. That's the R word we'd like to hear. Which Thank one you. is that? I don't know. Retirement? Relax and <laughs> Relax. relaxation what, is and that retirement. Like reading, writing, arithmetic? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's too much work. Thank you, Peter. Thanks, Voice Gary. of Reason. Appreciate your time.